Hey everybody, welcome back to Family Firearm Reviews. Today, we're doing something a little different. We're gonna run a wheel gun. So we're running a 45 Long Colt right here. Now this is based off the Colt Army. This is an Umberti 1873 Cattleman and they make replicas. So we know those Colts are pretty expensive out there. I think we picked this up for $450 out the door, which is a pretty nice price for something like that. With cowboy action shoots getting more popular, there's a lot of other copies out there that run pretty well, you know? And we know it's a Colt because we can do the C, O, L, T, right? So we've got our four positions right there, which is pretty nice. Let's get right into those numbers. We have a barrel length of four inches on this firearm. We have an overall length of about 11 inches. Now we have a weight of 2.3 pounds and our trigger pull when it gets hammered back is around three pounds also. So we're looking at a six round capacity and a nice little trap door in there for you to load and unload. You do have to put it in that half cock mode to get that cylinder to rotate. And then if you do get a stuck casing, there's a nice little spring there on this side that you can actuate and you can see right there, it'll actually push that casing out. As it gets dirtier, sometimes you're gonna need to do that. Let's look at some of the cool features on this firearm. So, now I know this is an Old West firearm, so we're not thinking it has a safety. Well, it actually does. If you half cock this firearm and you spin it around to this side, this button right here, it's spring loaded. You depress it and you push that back. And what that does is it doesn't allow the hammer to go all the way forward. So the typical way that they would carry these would leave one out of the chamber. So you take your six shot revolver and drop it down to a five shot. Now that was because if you have it all the way depressed, you know, you could accidentally hit it and set it off. But you can see here with that safety engaged, it actually gives a little bit of gap. It doesn't allow that hammer to go and hit the fire, it's not a firearm. It doesn't allow that hammer to go in and hit that round. So when we want to remove that safety, all we got to do, take it back to that half cock position and we're able to remove it, slide it forward and it closes that gap. Now what else is really nice is it's got a nice little trap door here and it's easy for you to get that open. It's nice and smooth. The action is nice and smooth. We get it in that half cock position and we're able to unload the firearm that way. And if you do get a stuck casing, there is a spring right here and a rod that will push that casing out that you guys can see right there. So that's a pretty nice little feature. It's got good ergonomics. You can get a pretty good grip and this triggers right in a good spot and the hammer, you can just really reach up there, get a hold of it. And it's a nice little, you know, section right there. You can see the trigger doesn't go very far forward. And with that two and three quarter pound trigger, it really is not an issue at all. You can really get some quick shots off there. Today we're going to get out to the range and we're going to put 150 rounds through this firearm, even if it takes all day, because it's going to be a little slow when you're reloading. So we're going to run Atomic. Uh, these are 200 grain rounds. We're going to run Federal. They are 225 grain rounds. And then we're going to run some Fiocchi, 250 grain rounds. So these are all round nose uh, ammunition set up for cowboy action shooting. So we're going to go through, run those through the firearm, see how it reacts with all the different ones, see how the recoil feels, because these are meant to be shot with one hand. And that's how, you know, they did it out in the West. So this nice sight picture that we have from Colt, that nice little groove in the top, that nice wide fin in the front. I think it's going to be really fun for us to shoot this firearm. So we've got our 45 long Colt out here on the range. We're gonna take a couple shots here, see how the recoil is, and then we're gonna reload. I've got this nice leather, little leather strap here that holds your bullets, it goes right on your belt. So we're gonna see how that works, that way I don't have to keep walking back and reloading, so I can just reload right here So we, as we go. So let's take these first six shots, see how this recoil is, see how this firearm works. It must have been all six of my shots. I guess I'm not a very good count. Yep, they're all spent. So let's get to reloading there. So you can see, most of them are falling right out. I got one that's stuck. Right there, I can use that to get those out nice and easy for me. Reloading, same thing. You have it half cocked. Just keep pushing through. It's nice that I have these kind of on the outside. I don't have to dig through my pockets. So I can just pull my six shots out. Rotate it through. You got to be careful not to rotate past the cylinder or you're going to have to have to rotate the firearm all the way around again for you to get your round in. So let's take those next six shots. Now 
So we just took our first shots with the 200 grain rounds. Now we're gonna move up to the 225s and we're gonna take six shots with that. And then we're gonna load my first six here are the 250s so we can see how all the different uh, ammos feel in this firearm. really going to have to learn how to count today. A little bit longer of a review today, just because it takes a little bit to load. It is a fun gun, not really self-defense or anything. I think it's just going to be something we bring out to the range, have a good time with. We'll see how these 250 grain rounds feel. They can laugh in the, the wind. Nothing's gonna affect them, right? That's all she wrote, so let's get some more shots in. Hey guys, it's Lauren with Family Firearm Reviews, and it's my turn with the 45 Long Colt, and this is the first time I've ever shot a wheel gun. Still can't count today. So now that we've got our first shots, got all our rounds in today, let's get over there. Let's get our final thoughts. Hey everybody. So now that we've got our 150 rounds through, which took a really long time. Hours. It yeah. took hours. Yes, getting that all through there, reloading six <laughs> at a time, took a very long time, but it was fun. I really had a great time shooting this. You know, it's a really nice, smooth firearm. Everything's really smooth. It's not hinky and clicky. You can feel everything's really nice and quality with these. So these are really nice. When they are brought in, you know, these nice grips right here are pretty smooth. You can get ones with upgraded grips that have a little bit more texture and grip and, uh, you know, checkering on them, but we didn't go that route. We really just went with this one. For a $450 value, we felt that this was a great firearm, and I really liked it. We were out there. The action was smooth. You can get a nice high grip on this firearm. Going through all those different stages, you can feel it. Getting it into that half cock is very easy to rotate that cylinder, load and unload the firearm. Even when rounds did get stuck, it was very easy to push right up there. It did get a little warm, right? So when we were using this, anyone that did get stuck, if you did touch this, it does get warm towards the barrel, of course, 
when you're shooting 150 rounds, what firearm doesn't get warm? So it, it is great, smooth, the trigger works great. It's a good pull, it's a fairly accurate gun. It is kind of strange getting used to these sights that did shoot a little low for both of us. And I actually found that I shot better one-handed the way they're actually kind of designed to be used than when I used a second hand. So I shot a lot of my shots today one-handed and the recoil because of the weight is very low. You can easily get right back on target and continue to shoot. What was nice is we did pick this up. Now this is a Hunter. It's made by Hunter and it's actually pretty nice. You can put 12 rounds in here, six in here. So I only had to come back, you know, every three times to reload, which was nice. I had to come back to the table, reload this, reload the firearm. Then I could be out on the range kind of going through the progression of the different targets we had out there and shooting. So this was around $40 because it is all made out of leather, made in the USA. But it is a nice little thing. I could put it right there on my belt and we went through the day. Uh, I had a great time shooting all of it. All the ammo worked well. The only thing that got stuck was the Fiocchi, and I think the gun was a little dirty that time because it was the last bit of ammo we did shoot. So at the end, maybe I had three or four rounds where I had to just push them out. They didn't really get stuck. They just didn't fall out like some of the other ones we had. What were your thoughts? Well, earlier today, I had a lot of hesitation about shooting this. I just thought cowboy gun, and I have this image in my head of all this recoil and all this power, and I had never shot a wheel gun before. So I took my rounds through it, and it turned out it was a lot of fun. The grip is great, the action on it's great, the recoil wasn't that bad at all, like you said. And the sight is a little low tech for me, I, my accuracy suffered a little bit because of that, but it was a blast to shoot, it was a whole lot of fun, and I'll definitely be back on the range with that. Yeah, like she said, the sight is fixed, there's no adjustability, so what it is, is you know what it is. You're just going to have to figure out how you're going to shoot with the gun. I knew that I was shooting a little low, so I had about probably about an inch and a half, two inch gap where I was shooting. Uh, when we were close, so out further, it was a little bit more exaggerated. So I just aimed high on all my targets, and I was able to get right on there and adjust for that. It was really a nice firearm and a great time out at the range today. So we appreciate your time. I hope you like this. I hope you go check one out. Like I said, for that low price, I feel like it's a really good value for you. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below. We want to hear from you. Get more content from Family Firearm Reviews by joining our Patreon and checking out the links in the description.